we help with anything? Uh, sorry, it's the Windbloom Festival. There's nothing I can hand off to you. Uh, nothing more. Let's go. Hello, is there anything? <laughs> That's a good one. You two helping me dur- Uh, huh? Weird. <gasps> You got any commissions for us? My apologies. During the Windbloom Festival, there are far fewer commissions available. Huh? The Adventurer's Guild... What do we do now? <gasps> Have we been... Fight? No. Paimon's not giving up that easily. We gotta try again. Haven't heard of the Windbloom? Windbloom. So, so the Windbloom Festival is a Mondstadt tradition, a festival of love and freedom. It's a time of celebration and partying. At this time of year, we offer Windblooms to the great Animo Archon Barbados as a sign of reverence and love. We also give flowers to our beloved. My shop is bursting with customers every Windbloom. I guess it's a nice problem to have. <laughs> The wind bloom is the symbol of this festival, a flower that represents freedom and the spirit of the... So, what does a wind bloom look like? <laughs> That's a lot. My grandma said that even she hadn't been born when the wind bloom first appeared. It must have been hundreds of years ago. I don't know why exactly, but everyone seems to choose dandelions when they want to give a gift of wind blooms. So, in other words, for the people of Mondstadt, wind bloom means dandelion? <laughs> Something like that anyway. At least, that's what we believe in my family. Incorrect! <clears throat> I heard everything you were saying and couldn't help, but you were talking about... It's Quinn from the fruit stall. Wanna join us? No, no, I'm just here to set the record straight. Windbloom doesn't mean the dandelion, but... Greetings to you too, Quinn. Uh, Flora, surely there must have been plenty of customers buying Windwheel Astro... <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> You see? We loyal Windwheel Aster advocates are upholding our... The Windwheel Aster is both a symbol of Mondstadt and an embodiment of the windmill, representing both wind and freedom. That's what... Who's with me? Windwheel Aster! The true Windbloom! Uh... Oh? Are you sure about that? B! You're here too? <laughs> the Windbloom. Isn't that... Huh? Really? Oh? So, a wind bloom is a Cecilia? What? Don't be ridiculous! Listen, yes, there may be some controversy over the definition of wind bloom, but it is the widely held belief among the people of Mondstadt that the wind bloom. There's history to both flowers. You'd know if you asked around. And as for the Cecilia, give. What? Just dropping the facts over here. No need to look at me like that. You. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not talking to- Huh? B? B? Weird. What's up with her? Did I say something wrong? Eh. Windbloom is as Windbloom does. Um... What? <laughs> Stop arguing- Maybe I should go and apologize to her after- I don't understand why she's upset. But what I do know is that I will have to apologize regardless. Aww. Seeing them together like that really gives me that wind bloom freedom. The animal archon, sweethearts. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great, no? But none of you can even agree over what a wind bloom is. You're right, but isn't that typical of us Mondstadt folk? <sighs> well, between the delicious food, exquisite drink, and fresh flowers, traveler. It sounds like such a happy festival. Even if the whole Windbloom thing is still a total miss, Let's look around and see what this is all about. Hey, it's the Tone Deaf Bard! Tone Deaf Bard, what are you up to? 
What's with all the people? Aha! You're right on time! Take a look at my students. What do you think? Not bad. Students? You mean the people anxiously scratching their heads? Anxiously? Why, these people are deep in concentration, diligently searching for heartfelt rhetoric to convey... Uh-huh. Seems a bit... <laughs> so, I guess you've already found out about the Windbloom Festival. How are you finding Mondstadt in such a festive mood? Do you like it? Paimon, what about you? Mm, Paimon could be persuaded with some delicious food-related... Ah, I think you'll come around then. Speaking of which, I'll bet you two don't have loafing around all day, no commissions to take or people to help. <laughs> if you've noticed that, then congratulations! You've taken your first step toward under... Oh, yeah? Hey! Why do you sound so pleased with your... The Windbloom Festival doesn't just belong to the Animo Archon, but to all Mondstadt citizens looking for love. Anyone who wants to find love must do everything for themselves over the festive period. In addition, many people take this period as an opportunity to resolve other matters of the heart. It's not surprising that you two haven't been able to find any commissions. That's just the win- But don't you worry. You won't feel lonely while I'm around. On that note, I think it's about time you two got a deeper understanding of Mondstadt's culture and customs. I need a couple of assistants. What do you say? Assistants? What kind of assistance? <laughs> See these anxious looking... They're looking to learn the secrets of love. So they came to me to learn how to compose love poems. I accepted, of course, because I was only too happy to charge a tuition fee. Soon, they'll come to me in turn and pour their hearts out, telling me about their romantic trials and tribulations. At least, that's what I was going to do. But having seen you two suffering with nothing to do... I think I'll let you handle it instead. You've traveled far and wide and seen so much, it would be a waste not to put those experiences to good use. They could use your help. Ugh, save us the nonsense. You just want to speed up your sales. That desperate for more- There are limited edition wines for sale during the Windbloom Festival. <laughs> I need every last Mora to make sure I get my fill. Uh-huh, spoken like a true drunkard. All right then, let's get started. I'll be joining you, of course. I'll give you a few prompts, and you can make suggestions based on them. <laughs> Not as taxing as you thought, right? You really love the sound of your own voice. Come on now, you're Mondstadt's honorary knight. The people trust you. It's only natural for you to have this opportunity to showcase yourself. Now listen up. If you see me make this gesture, it means I think they should forge ahead and seize the opportunity. But, if you see me make this gesture, it means I think they should play it safe. And if I make this gesture, it means I think they should give up while they're ahead and avoid any emotional overinvestment. You got that, Traveler? That's decided then. that you were seeking help from the bard over there. Where is assistance? Why not talk to us? Huh? I, I'd barely plucked up the courage to talk to the bard. Uh, is he not available? Uh, don't be shy. It doesn't matter who you talk to. At the end of the day, you've still got to talk to your Be Brave. Let's hear it. <sighs> Here goes. Th there is someone I... Marla. She's cute and hardworking, always helping her family out with the farm work. And sometimes, she gets so tired, she takes a nap on a bench by the- Is she from the city? N no, she lives in Springvale, quite away from me. And uh, let's just say that our families are quite different. My f Marla and I have found a way to work around it. Whenever we want to meet, we go stargazing at Star Snatch Cliff. Well. Sounds like you two are getting along just fine. We are. So, what I came to discuss today doesn't so much concern Marla. My father is quite conservative and very strict. Still, it's my fault. I, 
I'm thinking, if I use this opportunity to offer a wind bloom to my father and formally ask for his approval at the same time, maybe... What are you planning to say? I want to tell him that, even though Marla doesn't come from a wealthy family, her kind heart and hardworking nature are things that Mora can't buy. Huh. Does that sound too childish? Oh, I hope he doesn't yell at me. Aw, there, there. Uh-huh. Yeah, tell him what's in your heart. Use the love between you and Marla to move him. I, I, I see. Understood. Another thing, didn't you say you were going to give flowers to your father? What about Marla? Oh, ah, now that you mention it, I wanted the bard to teach me how to compose a love poem. <laughs> of course, and I'll give her some flowers too. Yeah, thank you for your help. Hi! We heard you had something you wanted to discuss with the bard. Where is assistance? It's the honorary knight in Paimon. I didn't know I'd see you two here. Well then, I, I want to offer some flowers to the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, Jean. I guess you must be quite close to Master Jean. She's an incredibly upright and diligent woman. Talented and always gets the job done. Honest, kind, gentle, not- All right, we get it. She's pretty great. Sorry. Once I get talking about Master Jean, I get- This time tomorrow, I'll finish composing my poem, pick a fresh dandelion bouquet, head over to the office, and hand the flowers to the guard. It's just... the bouquet and the poem... I don't know. Wait a second. It's only normal to sign them. Why does that bother you so- Knowing Master Jean's conscientious nature, I'm afraid she'll send a gift in return if she sees my name. She's so busy, I wouldn't want my gift to create more work for her. If I can get this bouquet on her desk, that's enough for me. But then, won't an untraceable bouquet create suspicion? How? Uh... Rush, mull it over. In any case, it's totally up to you. Is it more important to you for her to remember the person who sent her the flowers? Or for her to simply feel respected and loved? Huh. I never thought about it that way. Huh. That's taken care of then. A thousand thanks. You're welcome. Chin up. Will do. <laughs> You there! Are you looking for help from the bard? Where is assistance? Why don't you- Oh! Uh, really? Oh, well, I... I'm just such a huge fan of Mondstadt's idol! Barbara-sama! You must have heard of her! She's the super cute one at the- Not to mention gentle, and she always lifts the people of Mondstadt's spirits with her smile and songs. I'm such a big fan. I even got a- <laughs> You guessed it! I'm the head of the Barbara fan club! Huh. Pretty pleased about it, too, by the... I carry the hopes and expectations of every member of the fan club on my shoulders. At this special time of year, I pledge to send our blessings to Barbara Sama herself! Of course, as a level-headed adult, I would never want to cause her any disturbance. I'm just waiting for my time slot with the bard so I can explain the plan. Take all the flowers picked by our members and turn them into a huge giant flower statue. Then, to give her a huge surprise, place it outside the rear entrance of the church. As for the love poem, we don't need any help. We're planning to do it on our own and hang it on the statue itself. So, this just will be about two stories high. But it's all in good faith, don't you see? When Barbara Sama catches sight of it, She'll feel the burning flames of our everlasting. So, what do you think? Uh uh. A level headed adult? <laughs> More like. Uh, but gifts have to make a lasting impression. Oh, it'll create a lasting impression, all right. The nice. Really? But. But nothing! Oh, okay, okay. 
Thanks for your suggestions, both of you. He sure left in a hurry. My gestures weren't always translated into the advice I intended. I guess I need to work on my communication for next time. Uh, next time! So, who else needs some help around here? Hmm, what are you three up to? Kaya! <laughs> are you also here for romantic guidance? <laughs> it's the greatest bard in town. And now, the greatest romantic still. Don't you have other business to attend to? Oh, you mean teaching people how to compose love poems? Exactly that. I heard you were teaching classes in the plaza, so I came right... Huh? Kaya, you want to learn how to compose love poems too? I'm not too shabby. Nevertheless, I'd like to register for the fast track classes. How come? You're a smooth talker. Do you really need my guidance? The real question is... Are you willing to take me on as a student? Of course! When the Mora comes knocking, who am I to keep the door closed? <laughs> well then, I guess I'm enrolled. And as your student, may I make some reasonable dem- Aha! Paimon knew there was more to it! Demands? Uh, let's hear them. As students, aside from attending class, we also need homework act. Surely a well-designed course would require us to put our knowledge into practice and then have our teacher correct the- You mean, Vendi has to correct the student's homework? Precisely. All in exchange for payment, naturally. These are my demands. Or to put it another way, I'm actually gonna have to work for a living. <laughs> Is that so bad? I just think that with things like this, you should see them all the way... More fun for everyone involved, don't you think? What do you say? I feel like Kaya's knack for mischief is it. Still, correcting homework... Huh, this is indeed a vital... And I am curious to see the fruits of my students' labor. Congratulations, Kaya! As I expected. A reasonable and down-to-earth... Hold your horses! I have a demand for you, too! Cool! A coercion contest! I will pay special attention to your homework and guarantee that you will see improvement in your studies. But, as for your tuition fee, some Wind Bloom Festival exclu- <laughs> What with you and Master Diluc being on such good terms and all- <laughs> Steady now. Let's not overestimate my abilities. Still... One bo- Whoa! One bottle? <laughs> Make that three- Jeez! Give him an inch and I'll take a mile! Please? Please, please? Deal. Marvelous! Grab some paper and make your way over! Professor Venti's Poetry Masterclass is now- What's the paper the tongue deaf guard pulled out of his pocket? And whose names are those? Albert, Ellen, Marvin, Timaeus, Kaya, Bennett. Oh, uh, present! Wow, Bennett's really fired up for this. So you're Bennett? Excellent. I like your enthusiasm. Make sure to channel that vigor into your poetry. Yes, sir! Even adventurers want to learn how to write poetry. I see this is going to be a popular class. Tone Deaf Bard's gonna make a fortune! My dear students, in a moment, we will gather by the terrace in front of the cathedral, where I will divulge to you my experiences and techniques in the art of poetic composition. After class, I would like every one of you to compose a love poem and hand it to me for, uh, constructive criticism. As for your tuition fees, by all means, wait until the course is over before paying. But don't even think about- <laughs> In addition to Mora, payment in alcohol is also warmly welcomed. A quick question, sir. Does our special- But of course! And when the time comes, you can hand in your homework first. Traveler, 
I'd like you and I to collect the homework submissions together. Uh, does that fall under the assistance duty? Think of it as an initiation into Mondstadt's traditional culture. An opportunity to immerse yourselves in the Windbloom Festival. I'm going to great lengths here to make sure you're a part of the festivities. Not to mention, it would entitle you to a share of the remuneration. Oh, sir, yes, sir! Good. In that case, when Kai has finished with his homework, let's go and look for him at the Knights of Favonius headquarters. But for now, I've got classes to teach. Traveler, why not make the most of it and check things out? The vendors in Mondstadt have arranged all sorts of festive activities. Don't forget to try them out. Halt! Citizens, what noble errand brings you? Is Kaya here? We need him for something. Captain Kaya? He's on duty in Jean's office. Huh? Why is he in Jean's office? The Windbloom Festival celebrations have always been hosted by the Knights of Favonius. During the festivities, Master Jean personally goes out on... But Captain Kaya takes over her administrative duties during that period. Huh. Is that... Traveler, Paimon, you're here! I was just thinking about you two. And now, here you are. Kaya, did you do your homework? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I haven't even started writing it yet. Hmm, students that don't hand in their homework on time aren't exactly model students now, are they? And what excuse does Kaya have for not handing in his homework? Well, as you can see, I'm helping Master Jean take care of various matters. Mondstadt is a hive of activity over the festive period. Accordingly, there's a multitude of things that need sorting. Traveler, can I ask for a favor? I have a drinking buddy that wants me to help him with something, but I'm much too busy. Can I entrust this matter to- A drinking buddy? A friend you met at the tavern? That's right. I often go to the tavern when not on duty. Somehow, I seem to have made quite a few acquaint- His name is Nimrod. He's never far from the tavern. He should be free right now. Thanks for the help. I'd better stay behind and get started on my homework. Uh, what should I do? You must be Dimrod. Kaya mentioned there was something you wanted him to take care of. He's busy right now, but... Uh, huh? Oh, Traveler. Uh, it's like this. I'm planning to give a gift to my wife for the Windbloom Festival, and I wanted my drinking buddy Kaya to come up with a gift idea. Uh, I... I'm afraid I'm a bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the t Another day, another drunkard. I can empathize. <laughs> I don't mind a drink or two myself. Then again, and I'm not one to judge, but by the- I know, she's right, of course. I feel like I have to make it up to her. Uh, traveler, can you help me gather some materials? I want to make a gift for her myself. <sighs> I should have made preparations in advance, but I've barely been sober these last few days. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the celebrations had... Yeesh, this guy is a mess. Uh, single folks in Mondstadt would never dare get others to help them during the festive period. It's lucky you're already married, Nimrod. Uh-huh, you're telling me. Uh, I'm... Ah, uh, what's done is done. Spit it out then, how can we help? I'm going to look for wood in the city. And we'll need plants to place inside. Those only grow in the wild. Could I ask you to retrieve that? Small lampgrass and wood? What? I want to make her a little wooden house. With glowing flowers and... Aw, such a thoughtful gift. A token of my love. <laughs> 
Back when I'd only just gotten to know her, I used to make handmade gifts for her all the- Uh, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's put the past aside. Lucky you came across such kind-hearted assistance, hmm? All right, let's go and find those materials. Today at Angel Share. Anything the knights can do for you? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. With these materials, I can get to work. Remember, a gift can't solve everything. You need to start being fair to your wife, too. I will. I will. Uh, I do hope she likes my gift, though. Everyone likes a gift given with love. Don't worry. Make it a good one. Don't go wasting those materials. They weren't easy to find, you know. Take a seat. We're back. Kaya, have you finished? Time to hand in your homework. Welcome back. I'm just finishing up. Go, go, go. Hand it in, hand it in. All right, all right. Now then, no hurting my feet. Hmm. Hmm? Tone Deaf Bard, what grade did he get? Kaya, may I read this out loud? Feel free. <clears throat> Me, Maria, means I love you in the language of the Hilly Churls. Eh? Huh? Huh? That's it. That's it? Coherent and to the point. Plus, the length seems about right. What? Are you writing a Hilly Churlian phrase book? <laughs> a love poem has to convey the style of its author. You know I'm not sure you took the exercise seriously. Wait! So we're just gonna gloss over the fact that Kaya can speak- <laughs> Don't underestimate the hidden knowledge of the Knights of Favonius Cavalry Cat. Alright then, time to collect the next student's homework. Huh? I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. I must go and investigate. Traveler, I have another small task for you. The church has applied to us for a hunting license. Please take these official documents to the cathedral. <sighs> Running errands again. Lisa, we need to establish some ground rules. <sighs> if we do end up apprehending any drunken troublemakers, no electrocutions, okay? Oh, Jean, you misunderstand me. That intoxicated fellow you witnessed last time was practically begging me to be shocked. It makes me wonder if some people don't actually quite enjoy getting... Lisa? <sighs> Very well, then. If you insist. Jean! Lisa! Greetings, ladies. <laughs> it's been a while. A while, indeed. As you can see, Lisa and I are on duty. Aw, it's Cutie and friends. Uh, did you see any suspicious people on the way here? If you do see anything, report straight to the knights. Since when do librarians go out on patrol? Rarely, but this is the Windbloom Festival, and they need all hands on deck. Even the humble clerical staff like me. Lisa, humble clerical staff do not wield Electro the way you do. <sighs> Please do not be alarmed. I will keep my eyes on Lisa, especially since she seems to enjoy electrocuting people just to break up a scuffle, not to mention shocking drunkards until they beg for mercy. If you don't like it, I can happily refrain. Is that a promise? Good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reconsider whether I want a librarian on patrol with me. Paima never knew being on patrol could be so exciting! Barbara! Kaya sent us to deliver the... How dare they! This is sheer intimidation! How could somebody do this? Huh? What's happened? I... I... I received a letter! Oh. Let me. I just came back from the wilderness. As usual, I came by the cathedral to ask the sisters to patch me up. That's when I saw Barbara running out, white as a sheet. She was... I've never received a letter like this before. Can I take a look?
Hmm. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. Huh. It's awful. Is it a joke? If so, we don't need to worry. But what if it's real? <laughs> There's a map on the back. Isn't that out in the wilderness? Hmm. The thing most precious to you. Hmm. Buried. Huh. That location on the map is familiar. I've definitely been there before. I can't think straight right now. Nothing makes sense. Oh. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. The thing most precious to me. Wait. Thousand Winds Temple! Uh, Bennett! Hey! Why are they in such a hurry? Let's catch up with the... My sister! Slow down. Rosaria! I just... I... Calm down. I ran into Jean a moment ago. Lisa was with her. She's fine. That letter. Give it to me. Sure. If they're not talking about Jean in the letter, then what are... Did you really think they buried Jean underground? What a horrible thought! So, sister, have you found any leads? Looking at the map, the perpetrator seems to have marked out an area around Dawn Winery. That's open land, so hiding something there... Hmm... What could it be? Nice work! How'd you figure that out so quickly? Although, Don Winery? That's not the place we were thinking. Oh. Barbara, rather than letting your imagination get the better of you, stand up and face this head on. You're right. It's just... <laughs> it's a little scary, right? That's why we're going with you. What if... <gasps> Oh, that, that's very kind. And you, sister? Will you be accompanying us? No need. I knew straight away there was nothing to worry about. Huh? What does that mean? Nothing. Get going, then. Barbara, are you feeling a bit better now? Mm-hmm. I... <sighs> sorry, that's right. Better to know the ways of the enemy than stand here scaring myself. That's right! Let's get moving! Thank you. All of you. Let's get to the location and see what we find. Yep, yep! Go, Barbara, go! Huh? Why are there treasure hoarders here? <laughs> Got another job! <laughs> Let's play! Huh. I you can bully me! Have a little taste. Think you can get away? I will have order. Oh, it looks like there's something on the ground. What is this? Hmm. Quick, let's open it. I. I. Oh, interesting. Such an exquisite gift box. Oh. Wow, what a beautiful wind wheel aster wreath. And so many paper stars. Hmm, looks like our perpetrator is really just one of Barbara's fans. There's a note. What does it say? Hmm, so sorry to get your attention this way. Please accept this wind bloom as a sign of my sincere admiration for... Ha! Huh. So it's... fraudulent intimidation, then? Be it for the gods or that special someone, flowers should be offered in utmost sincerity. It's the most important ceremony of the wind bloom fe Flowers of love and blessings sent on such a special occasion. No effort should be spared to make it spectacular. <laughs> 
Behind the questionable methodology, here we have a meticulously thought out and heartfelt gift. Huh. Laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Still seems like someone with a few screws loose to Paimon. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I think I have a suspect in mind who fits that description. Who? Who? Shh. No telling now. <laughs> I'd like Paimon to make... Ugh, you're so annoying! Come on, put your skills to the... We're here at Tamaeus' alchemy store. Uh, oh, did you say my name? Looks like I beat you here. So, did you do your homework, Tamaeus? <laughs> Paimon wants... Uh, so sorry. I haven't gotten around to it. Tamaeus, might I ask how you're progressing? Huh? Traveler and friends. Oh, nice to see you again. Uh, Sucrose has me deciphering an alchemical recipe, but my brain is doing backflips. I, I just don't understand it. So, in other words, no progress? Uh, no. Oh, now that you mention it, I can't figure it out either. Uh, is alchemy really that mysterious? But of course! Alchemy is an ancient and mystical discipline. Yet with the passage of time, those that can be said to have mastered its secrets grow fewer and further between. Yes! That was my thinking, too. But I believe that Mr. Albedo is still painting on the mountain. And we've got lots of research to do. If you want my opinion, if Mr. Albedo can't figure out this recipe, nobody in Tavat can. Sucrose, what exactly is this recipe anyway? It's a Windbloom recipe I transcribed from an ancient book. Ooh, what if the Windbloom isn't a naturally occurring plant after all, but an alchemical creation? Oh, now that's an interesting take on the Windbloom conundrum. You misunderstand. The book doesn't say anything about it being a recipe for a Windbloom. The book... <sighs> well... Actually, it doesn't exactly have the appearance of a book anymore. It's badly damaged and lots of information is missing. Only a few pages of scattered notes from the original volume have survived. That, and a recipe written in some unknown language. The author mentioned in the notes that the recipe was extremely precious. Timaeus and I are completely unable to decipher the content. I know it might seem inconceivable, but... Something about it being extremely precious made me think of wind blooms. Huh? But... <laughs> That's an act of imagination. Traveler, if I may be so bold, could you take this recipe to Mr. Albedo? Mr. Albedo should be at the camp at the foot of the mountain. Ah, the mountain. <laughs> now there's a romantic location. Wind bloom. The flower that alchemy made. Sounds exciting! Paimon needs to know the truth. Let's get going, Albedo, here we come! Albedo! Oh. Traveler and Paimon? And who might this be? This is our tone-deaf bard! Venti will do just fine, but yes, I am a bard. Greetings. I'm Albedo, the alchemist. The Windbloom Festival is in full swing! People celebrating everywhere! And here you are all by yourself! Well, with the Windbloom Festival in full swing, as you say, why would you be out here looking for me? We're helping Sucrose! Sucrose gave us some paper. She says there's a Windbloom recipe from an ancient text on it! Neither she nor Timaeus can understand it, so we came looking for you! A Windbloom recipe. I see. This is an ancient language. It's no wonder Sucrose and Timaeus couldn't decipher it. Even so, I don't believe this is a recipe for a Windbloom. So what could it be? I could only guess, I'm afraid. 
In order to reach a conclusion, we'll need to see the real thing. Sadly, my hands are full right now. But I can give you a list of ingredients, if you'd like to go gathering. Okay, job done. Great work. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Seems we have everything we need. Not for the alchemical process. This shouldn't take long. There we have it. Huh. Uh... Is this the wind bloom that Sucrose was talking about? It's just a sweet flower. Have a closer look. Are you sure it's the same as other sweet flowers? It. Why is this sweet flower so big? So this is the wind bloom created by following this ancient recipe. <laughs> it really does make me think of sucrose. Huh, it does seem like something she would like. Do sweet flowers this size even count as sweet flowers anymore? I can say with certainty that yes, yes they do. Their essence is the same. But said that she transcribed the recipe from an ancient book. Could it be that there were sweet flowers around even in ancient times? There were indeed sweet flowers in antiquity. This species has a long history. Seriously? Have sweet flowers really existed all that time? Yes. Whoa! Well then. I must head further into the mountain. I still have painting to do. Perhaps you could pass this on? A traveler, enjoy the celebrations. Oh, Sucrose, we've got something for you. Oh, you're back. Timaeus, how's that homework coming along? Did you get the wind bloom? Let me see, let me see. Here's a flower he created, but Albedo said it's just... <sighs> it's just like the wind bloom in my dreams! It's just a sweet flower! No, no, hear me out! This is a perfect specimen from an ancient recipe. I saw it in my dreams. The tetratonic sweet flower! Uh, the, the what now? The seeds of the tetratonic sweet flower are four times bigger than those of ordinary sweet flowers. And the sweet flowers that grow from them are, well, tetratonic sweet flowers. Bigger, stronger, sweeter, and more beautiful. A perfect Tibet species. Oh, and not to mention that the recipe comes from remote antiquity. A perfect, magnificent flower from the far-flung past. Whatever people say, this is my wind bloom. Sucrose is... Consistently sucrose. I must go and source some nutrients for my wind bloom. Bye for now. <laughs> Who knew alchemy could generate such enthusiasm? Now, Timaeus, your homework? Uh, just finished, sir. Here. Ooh, here we go. Paimon's favorite part. Timaeus, may I recite it? Duh! You're gonna read it out loud? Duh. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Uh -uh. Here we go. Hand in hand with you before the furnace, the flames fail to rise, for they are burning in my heart. Wow. Sounds so romantic. And you even tailored it to your profession. Great job! Truly, a masterpiece beyond all expectation, Timaeus. You're a natural. Really? Wow, I had no idea that someone like me could write love poems of any merit. It must have been Professor Venti's excellent guidance. Professor, as soon as I'm done here, I'll sort out my tuition fee. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> now, uh, 
That's job satisfaction. And I guess that's everyone's homework collected. No? Hmm. Aren't we missing someone? Who could that be? Hmm. Oh! Where did Bennett run off to? Barbara! We need to ask you something! Uh, Traveler! Paimon! Mr. Bard! Something terrible's happened! Bennett's gone missing! Missing? You mean he hasn't returned after leaving that day? Uh, yes! What if he's in danger? We have no idea where he is! <sighs> the Thousand Winds Temple. Huh? Rosaria? With you all in the cathedral shouting at the top of your lungs, I could hear everything you were saying. Oh, Paimon remembers now! He said something like, I've got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! There's no time to lose! Let's head to the temple and investigate! No trace of Bennett anywhere! What's that over there? Forces? Fraser, someone's coming! Maybe they're here to save us! Traveler, keep your eyes peeled for enemies. Yeah! <sighs> Think you can get away? Nice and spicy! Quake! This is order! <laughs> Solidify! Brace yourself! Eat this! Nice and spicy! Day on us special! Think you can bully me? Yahoo! by this crazy cell. Lucky you two got locked on opposite sides. Oh, what a superior design. Presumably an ancient mechanism is involved somehow. <sighs> There's gotta be a mechanism around here someplace. Quick, go look for it. Mm, stomach rumbling. Ah, <sighs> you just ate the apple from my bag. You two seem to have adjusted well to life in prison. We can leave you here if you like. No, 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 not funny. I'm begging you, all right? Please, find the mechanism. And open sesame. Ah, <sighs> freedom at last. Very... unexpected. <laughs> I wouldn't call it unexpected. This was just a normal day for me. Sorry. Ah, no need to apologize. It wasn't even your fault. So, let's hear the story. Wait, what happened with that letter? Oh, it was just a false alarm. Turns out some fans just wanted to get her attention so they could get a gift to her. What the... That's terrible! What kind of a person does that? I've been locked up here a whole day thanks to them! S sorry Don't be, Razor! Uh, I didn't mean... Uh, like I said, there's nothing to apologize for. It was my fault for being so hasty in the first place. I rushed off without giving the map a proper look and ended up in the complete wrong location. Uh, after I left the cathedral, I came straight to the area around the Thousand Winds Temple. But there were monsters everywhere, not to mention ruin guards. You know, those huge things. I guess you've seen them before. But as a first-rate adventurer, I was able to rely on my wits to evade them. Then I got to the temple itself. The moment I arrived here, I heard a monster's roar. Well, Paimon's guessed the ending already. I remember thinking it must be some villainous trap that the perpetrator had set for us. But was Bennett the Adventurer, leader of Benny's adventure team, about to back down? No way! 
So I charged straight in! Uh, that's when I found him inside. Razor, what were you doing at the Thousand Winds Temple? Woven them. Many hunters. Too noisy, so I leave. So, you came all the way to the Thousand Winds Temple, then what? You were trapped by the mechanism? <laughs> Turns out it was no ordinary cell, what with the inner and outer sections. Of course, when I saw that Razor had been trapped inside, I had to rescue him. Then, all of a sudden, there was a huge crash as the other cell door came down. Yep, just as Paimon expected. Anyway, why did you come to the Thousand Winds Temple? Bennett, did you forget about your homework? I'm ready to collect my tuition fee once I've corrected it, of course. Oh, the love poem! Of course I didn't forget! It's not like I had much else to do, being stuck in this cell all day and all night. So at some point, I just started working on it. It's all finished now. Even Razor reviewed it. Oh, yeah? Razor, how did he do? Uh... Don't understand words, but feel... warm, tingly. Like... Wolfhookthorn. Bennett, may I recite your work? Oh, sure. A taste of Bennett's wordsmanship. <laughs> Yay! A round of applause for Bennett! You and the Mayor Javari. So close and yet so far. One at the edge of the world, the other in the center of my heart. Wolfhook and Dandelion, my Windbloom offering to you. Uh, Wolfhook? It, yeah, not bad, right? Uh, it's definitely your style. <laughs> Marvelous work! Unpretentious and honest, sincere and evocative. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Bennett did good poem. <laughs> Thanks to you too, Razor. Congratulations! Nice job! Still, Wolfhook and Dandelion, can they both be wind blooms? Oh, that was Razor's addition. I asked him, what do you think the wind bloom is? Wolfhook was his answer. Yes, Wolfhook, good. So, even berries count now? A novel take indeed. Ah, I'm so happy. Today was lucky. Getting rescued against the odds, receiving praise for my poem. Brilliant! Sir, as soon as we're back in Mondstadt, I'll buy you some wine. Then it's pretty easy to please. <laughs> That's not quite it. I'm always so unlucky, so I'll take what I can get. Yes, but in future, be careful. Hey, you should talk. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement to make. All the poems from the Fast Track class have now been collected. Great. So to celebrate, let's go to the tavern and have a drink. I'm afraid Razor and I have to be going. He said he knows of some relatively unknown areas worth exploring and wants to show them to me. Have a great time, though. It's us! Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Uh, Master D. Luke? Oh, I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. <laughs> it is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and Mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom Star. Quite the honor. Windbloom Star? The Windbloom Star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors. Normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt. 
or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom Festival period. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom Ceremony together with the Acting Grand Master. During the ceremony, you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. But which Windbloom are you talking about? <laughs> a good question. Diluc, care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details. Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <sighs> no sense of humor. Traveler, the Windbloom is always chosen by the Windbloom Star, so the flower offered to the Animo Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? Hey, where's the bartender? How come Master Diluc's mixing the drinks? If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? Hmm. I see. So, what do you make of Master Diluc's mixing ability? Why don't we ask the formidable Sister Rosaria? What do you think? <sighs> He's not bad. Formidable? <gasps> Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it... a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria, and stayed my hand. So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master Diluc. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> My, such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly, a good day for a drink. Well said. So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. They didn't come cheap. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. How are you enjoying the Windbloom Festival, Traveler? That's good to hear. A toast, everyone. To a happy Windbloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> what a festival. Now, this won't drink itself. Oh, Tone Deaf Bard, spare us off for other people. Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink. Something terrible happened. Hey, Jean! Traveler! Uh, excuse me. I should address you as Honorary Knight under the circumstances. I suppose you heard? You're this year's Windbloom Star. You will be making an offering of Windblooms to the Animo Archon Barbados on behalf of the whole of Mondstadt. Oh, although, things will be a little different this time. <sighs> yeah. But with us in the Tone Deaf Bard here, this year's Windbloom Festival is sure to be bigger than ever! <sighs> that is true. <sighs> Thank you for taking up residence in Mondstadt, and I hope you continue to enjoy Mondstadt life. Oh, the Windbloom ceremony is about to begin. Windbloom Star, have you chosen your Windbloom? So we choose one type of flower, then offer it to the Animal Archon, right? Exactly right. Please consider your choice carefully. Remember, you are representing the whole of Mondstadt. 
Eh? <laughs> Very cunning. <laughs> Trying to cheat, are we? Ahem. <clears throat> hey! Don't you two go spilling secrets during an occasion like this! <laughs> they told us. Don't worry about me. Choose something you like. I trust your tastes. So, honorary knight, what is your choice? people's favorites. Wendblooms must be dandelions after all. On behalf of the people of Mondstadt, please offer your Windbloom to the statue. Thank you, Windbloom Star, for your sincere Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. May the wind protect Mondstadt. Huh, interesting choice. <laughs> Take a guess. Typical tone deaf bard. Stop making people guess all the time. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. But not here, though. Not a good idea with so many people in the plaza. Change of surroundings needed. Where should we go? I want you to come with me to Storm Terror's lair. It's been a while since I've come here, and uh, things have gotten a little out of order. Traveler, shall we clear the area up a bit? Let's call it our Windbloom gift to Devalin. Hey, good point! Doesn't Devalin want to take part in the Windbloom Festival too? He's not here, but I sense he'll be back soon. Right. I'll let you handle that area. I'll take another. Let's meet up top when we're done. Ah, now, this is a view. Isn't it? I am fond of this place. Sometimes, when I've got nothing else to do, I come here just to sit and gaze a while. You mean sit and laze around? <laughs> Guilty as charged. It's so beautiful. If only we had some cider in hand. So, Traveler, the Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. Do you like it? And yet, you still have something you wish to ask, do you not? I know your question. What are Windblooms exactly? And what do Windblooms and the Windbloom Festival mean to Barbados, the Animo Archon? As you've seen, the people of Mondstadt each make their own choice. Out of the millions of flowers there are, some choose the dandelion, others choose the windwheel aster. Huh. <sighs> it does seem like wind bloom means something unique to each person. Correct. And long may that be the case. There is no single answer, and no true wind blooms in existence. So, wind blooms don't really exist? The word Windbloom dates from the age of old Mondstadt. It was a code word that the people used to stay in contact and mount resistance in secret. At that time, the people often said that the stronger the wind blows, the firmer the roots of the Windbloom grow, and the brighter the flowers that burst into bloom. If you want my perspective, Windblooms don't exist. Yet they are all around us nonetheless. They are the spirit of yearning for freedom, the courage to follow the wind wherever it may lead. All objects that are beautiful and worthy of blessing. You can't see them, but you can feel their presence everywhere, just like the wind! <laughs> well said. So what are wind blooms? Something that the animal Archon Barbados will not define. Flowers of blessings, flowers of respect, flowers of love. Every individual has their own wind blooms, and every individual has the right to define them. Guess it's no surprise that the type of flower given by the City of Freedom to its deity is in itself an expression of freedom. I know. It is people's shared will that brings them onto the same page. And surely, 
It is the wind of freedom that brought us together. It comes from the end of the journey, the edge of the world, the depths of our hearts. It is ceaseless. <sighs> Who was it that stroked your bloody, determined visage? By stream flowing small, by boulder standing large. Who was it that embraced your weary yet noble soul? In dreams deep, in skies soaring. Dear friend, I am leading you by the hand into the night where lanterns shine bright to tell you a tale of freedom and dreams. The tale of where this festival begins. <laughs> the Windbloom Festival originated in the Crown of the North, the City of Freedom. Oh, we gotta bring enough supplies this time. Otherwise, you'll go hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're asking me... Unofficial business? We're grateful to you, as are we to you. Funny, we haven't gotten together for a meal in a while. It's been so busy lately. What should we do on this day? <sighs> Mr. Albedo! How's the research going? We've had a few issues. Well, have a look at this. No. Of course, any good tavern offers bar snacks. Hmm. Really? Hmm. How should we do it? Who should we do it for? Quietly? <laughs> or boldly? Make the first move, or trust a chance. Huh? My answer is this. So long as we can both share fond memories, it doesn't matter. Let the heart decide. 